Here's a strange old television tube neck assembly which I found in a, a field thrown out. Um, the whole thing consists of these parts. Um, this was the outer housing. There's two big um, ferrite magnets facing each other. This goes inside here. And there was a electron gun assembly plus uh, glass uh, going through the centre. And the deflection is done with this rather interesting coil assembly here. Uh, there's four coils wound probably a bit similar to how modern coils are done. Uh, it's just I've never seen something quite uh, quite like this. Usually deflection coils are up by the nearer the neck of the, the television tube where it joins the where the stem joins the bulb. But uh, this is actually around the seems to be around the gun. Um, come to think of it, it, it is actually around the gun, so... Hmm, okay. Now uh, this is the gun assembly here, which is interesting. Initially I thought it was bashed and distorted, but well, let me see if I can zoom in a bit closer here. There's a uh, obviously a filament assembly at the back. Um, presumably just the one filament. It's not a colour tube, obviously. It's too old for that. <clears throat> but the filament appears to be off centre. See the that metal disc there, which holds it located inside the stem. The um, the emitter is off centre for some reason. We've then got this tubular thing here, which I'm not exactly sure what it what it is. And on the end of it, there's a here, there's a cap, which initially I thought had been. I'm trying to zoom in a bit closer here. Um, there we go. Initially, I thought that ridge had been formed by a drop or an impact, and uh, was was damaged. But I'm not so sure. Um, it's pretty rigid stuff, and with this being inside the inside the whole assembly, it's hard to see how any impact could be transmitted to to that. So the the end cap on this this tubular thing is on squint. Um, But yet the, the tube and the disc at the other end are concentric. So I'm not sure what's going on here. Surely you would want to have the, the electron gun coaxial in the, the tube. Um, I'm not quite sure what all these are. Um, presumably it's an indirectly heated emitter uh, and there'll be a, an accelerating electrode or something in between. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but the positioning was a bit, a bit strange because as I say the... Oh, let me think where this was. That was around, that was just poking out the back there. And this coil stuff was... Hmm... Yeah, but probably around there, so... You've got a deflection coil assembly 
located maybe there. So how is that going to work? Because if you've got ah, I just just realised possibly um, the the tube actually protruded further out the back here and when it was dropped or something uh, this got shoved further up yeah that would probably explain it so you would have the uh, the deflection coils once the electrons have left all the, the anodes and all the accelerating electrodes and stuff so they're then free to be, be deflected uh, yeah that would probably explain it um, but it's still a bit odd why there's a uh, this off-center emitter uh, arrangement and I'm also not clear on the purpose of the two ferrite magnets um, spring assembly there for positioning the tube um, you can see this this rear one is adjustable by if, as you turn it, uh, there's three screws right in these helical slots, so the magnet can move in and in and out. Um, what function they serve, I'm not exactly sure because again, in, in modern uh, TV tubes, you, you don't have anything like that. So that's an interesting old old find. Um, if anyone's got any. Any comments on it, uh, please let me know. Uh, be interesting to, to see. Looking inside here, there appears to be two sort of pole pieces to concentrate the, the field. Uh, I'm not sure if they're cast iron or ferrite. Look to be ferrite of some sort. Coils are probably still in reasonable condition because it's enameled wire they've used. Um, the rest was filled up with you know, dirt and moss and stuff, but um, they might still be usable. Okay, enough waffling. Um, any ideas, please let me know. Thanks for watching. Uh, quick update, the electron gun assembly just fell apart, so you can get a closer look at the uh, arrangement. Here's the off-center electron gun. Obviously, off-center. And here's the end of the tubular metal thing. Uh, one of that little spot welded stud broke off the other side. Um, there's nothing, the camera can't see it, there's nothing else in there, it's just a metal tube. With this cap that's on, squint. And it really is on squint, that is not... That is not deformed, that is intentional. So, it looks for all the world like something fancier than a, a television tube, but it's hard to see. And I, I found this by the side of a road uh, in, a, in a field, so it's, it's most likely to be an old television somebody's chucked away. Uh, the electronics that were with it, there was an old uh, flyback transformer and some old circuit boards um, in the in the ground, but um, for what all that is, goodness knows. Okay, uh, another shot of the stuff there. A close up of that. Right, uh, thanks for watching. I'm back again. I just realised that I have the strong suspicion that that plate there, which you can see is um, squint, like that, leaning to the left, leaning anti-clockwise from, from vertical, is actually meant to be that way. Now you can see it compared with the what was what's left of the glass. 
Initially I thought that had been bashed out by a, a drop or something, but that does appear to be correct. Intentional. Um, so the electrons seem to go maybe up that way and are then deflected um, straight out the cylindrical tube. Why? Nobody knows. Okay, just thought I'd add that as well. <laughs>